You will never believe how the vaccine autism myth got started. That's right. We're going back to 1998, y'all. 1998, a study was published in a major medical journal called The Lancet. And honestly, if you ask me, this literally changed the course of our lives. Why? Let me tell you. In 1998, a study was published in The Lancet, the study I'm talking about, by a man named Andrew Wakefield, who was a British physician at the time. He was stripped of his medical license. Okay, that's just a little premonition about what's to come. But he and his colleagues published a study in this major medical journal, The Lancet, in 1998. What was it about, you ask? Well, the hypothesis of the study was that the MMR, measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine, caused events that included intestinal inflammation, entrance into the bloodstream of proteins that were harmful to the brain, and consequent development of autism. Essentially, his hypothesis was that the MMR vaccine caused autism. Now, what happened, you might ask? Well, 1998, the study that suggested that the MMR vaccine caused autism was published in The Lancet. However, it was quickly realized that this study was flawed. The study was wrong. The study was inaccurate. What was going on? Well, it was deemed fraudulent. The data was misrepresented in the study. There are a whole bunch of other red flags, uh, one of which is that uh, Andrew Wakefield did not disclose financial conflicts of interest that he had. And there are other issues as well. Well, once that became known, all of those things, the study was actually retracted from the Lancet. That meant like sort of expunged, disappeared, said, okay, no more. He actually lost his medical license as well. And the study was deemed not a real thing. The problem, though, is that the damage was done, in my opinion. By the way, Andrew Wakefield went on to, to publish another study, a second study, uh, I believe like in early 2000s about MMR and autism. That was flawed as well. If you ask me, that was sort of one of the huge jumping off points in which people started to say and started to sort of, um, uh, you know, make the claim that the MMR vaccine, measles, mumps, and rubella caused autism. And we know what happened after that. There were celebrities that got onto the bandwagon, big celebrities saying, my kid has autism, blah, 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 and all sorts of propaganda and so many things that have come out since. Now, I know you're probably saying, or maybe you're not saying this, but you might be saying, okay, well, does the MMR vaccine cause autism? It's an excellent question. It's the question you should be asking. It's the question you probably are wondering about. The good news here is that we've had many, many studies since this Wakefield study, which was flawed, by the way, not accurate, um, you know, sort of deemed fraudulent, not real. We've had many, many studies afterwards that have refuted this claim, this idea that the MMR vaccine causes autism, which is amazing, which is fantastic, which is awesome, which is exactly what we want. But in my opinion, the damage has been done because it's still, that question still exists in many people's minds. You know, as I mentioned before, Andrew Wakefield lost his medical license. This study was retracted, expunged from The Lancet, a major medical journal. However, the myth still persists that the MMR vaccine causes autism. And let me tell you, rather I should say, but let me tell you, the MMR vaccine does not cause autism. Vaccines have been studied, tried and true over and over and over again. Remember, we all have a vested interest in knowing the answer if the MMR vaccine causes autism or other vaccines for that matter. We all want to know that. There is no conspiracy with that. And there have been other studies, many, many studies done since that have proven that that is not the case. And remember, when children don't get the MMR vaccine, it puts them at risk for measles, which is a very highly contagious disease. Measles, mumps, and rubella. By the way, those are not just diseases of the past. We are seeing more and more of those conditions because many parents are not vaccinating their children because of concerns, because of this myth that still is pervasive, etc. You know, we think that the cause or potentially the cause of autism is genetics as well as other things. Now, this is the thing, guys. I'm doing this video because in part, I was taking a look at the videos I've made and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I haven't made a video about vaccines and autism. You know, it's something that in the medical community we know quite well 
but it's something that continues to come up day after day, moment after moment in um, sort of the sphere of public opinion and public discourse. Believing that the MMR vaccine and that vaccines cause autism, believing that damages us, it hurts us, it keeps children and adults from getting proper vaccines, and it allows the resurgence of diseases that really were eradicated and should be. You know, the idea I have here is that, you know, if you are wondering about vaccines and autism, you don't have to take it from me, okay? You can Google the history of the MMR vaccine and autism. You can Google that yourself. You can read the story yourself. Go to your doctor and talk to them about it. Remember, this is something that as public health um, proponents, as physicians, we believe in very strongly. So you don't have to take it from me, but please understand that there is a story behind this, a very legitimate story that unfortunately has changed, in my opinion, the course of you know vaccines in this world. What I hope is that understanding the story about how this came about, I hope that you'll be more informed and have a little bit more insight into how things can take off, even if erroneous. You guys, remember, vaccines are safe, they're effective, they save lives. Are there potential risks? Absolutely, for some people, sure. But there's nothing in life that doesn't have risks. You know, the risks between getting measles versus getting vaccinated, it's a no-brainer. Get the MMR vaccine. Same thing with the flu vaccine and the COVID vaccine and so many other things. Like I said, you don't have to take it from me. Talk to your own doctor. Google this information. It's out there. And remember, when you're Googling, make sure that you're looking at evidence-based sources. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link a video to, I'm going to link a couple videos to this video. I'm going to link a video um, talking about some of the early signs and symptoms of autism so you understand. I did a video on that. I'm also going to link a video that talks about some of the evidence-based resources, the best evidence-based resources that we have online for you to search for health information. Remember, when you're searching online for health information, you know if, if, the, if the information is not vetted, if the source is not accurate, you could absolutely be getting inaccurate information that simply does not apply to you. And by the way, that's not helpful. So I'm going to give you that resource to take a look at. I want you to let me know what you think in the comments. It was important for me to come and literally have a video just on why the MMR vaccine and vaccines do not cause autism and where we think a lot of these myths came from. It's quite profound. It's also, as a physician, it's, it's devastating to me because every day I feel like I'm trying to battle the myths that exist. Again, you don't have to take it from me but take it from your doctor and get information that is evidence-based and correct. I'm Dr. Jen. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, all the things. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen.